Hello, this is Robert Gordon, and I'm going to demonstrate how to get a game up and running on Synaptop using the Synaptop API plugin for Construct 2. So, to install this plugin, you download and extract the files, and you should get something which looks kind of like this. Then you uh, navigate to your Construct 2 uh, plugin folder, so it should be in Program Files, Construct 2, Exporters, HTML5, Plugins. And then in here, you should have, you should create a folder named Synaptop and put these files into the folder. It should look something like this. Then you should reopen Construct 2, and you should have the plugin. So let's start a new project and set the window size to 800 by 600. It can be any size you want, but I want something fairly small just in case I want to play it on a mobile, for example. So, if you're familiar with Construct, these next few steps might be uh, pretty simple for you. So, let's add a sprite, and let's have a ball. Let's um, Add behavior to this ball so that we see it doing do something. And let's tell it to have a bullet behavior. So now if I run this, we have a ball. Now to add the Snaptop plugin. We insert a new object. The Synaptop will be on platform specific, and it's right here. And that looks good. You can rename it if you want, but Synaptop API is good enough for me. Now let's add in a couple Synaptop events. Add event system on the start of layout. Add an action. Synaptop API display a message. This will display a message prompt when it's done on Synaptop. I'm sure you're familiar with the uh, Hello World message. So, now if we run it in the debugger, it will not work because it is not on the Synaptop environment. So let's go and put it on the Synaptop environment. Let's export the project. HTML5 website. Okay, so here we go. We've exported it. Let's then go to the folder that it exported to, which is new project over here, because I didn't name the project. So here's the exported file. What you need to do whenever you export a project with to the Synaptop API is to change the index file. And you want to put in the end of the header a little piece of text which you can uh, code, which you can find in the README, which will be uh, supplied with the plugin. And here it is. Add the Synaptop API. Copy that, paste it into the header, and this would be all fine and dandy, except for the fact that we need to enter the app ID. So, to get the app ID, we actually have to open up Synaptop. Creating an account on Synaptop is free and easy. So,
I already have one. So it's automatically logging me in. You might have to log into Synaptop yourself. Then you need the developer. You can find that in the Synapse Store. Under Core Apps, Developer, and you just click that Install. And then in your Start menu, you'll have Developer right here. If you right click it, you can add it to the desktop like that. Or you can just run it from the start menu. You're going to have to register as a developer on Synaptop. That's easy. Add the information. And then you're into a developer. So you need to create a new app. This app will be named. Construct test add. And here is the app. So we could try launching it, but nothing will happen because we haven't told it what to launch yet. However, what is important is right here you have an app ID 254522. Go back to your index and enter that in. Five, four, five, two, two. Save the file, and then you upload it to your website. I use FileZilla because it's pretty easy. Uh, project which was on the desktop. New project, here we go. Just take all the files, transfer them over. You don't need to upload all of the files every time you export from Construct. For example, index rarely changes, so I usually leave that as the first one I edited it, so that I don't have to edit it every time. Uh, close that, and edit my, um, project here. Put in the uh, domain in the URL. I could add in icon URL if I wanted, but I'm going to skip that for now. The application width is 800 and height is 600. I don't want this to be shared right now because it's a single player application. Let's allow the user to size. It's or mobile, yep. Yeah. It does not use Flash. And save the changes. Now when I launch the app, I get a hello world, and I saw the little blue ball fly off the screen. Now we have our game that we developed in Construct on Synaptop. Later I will be putting up a video about how to um, use all the various functions included in the Synaptop API, such as Receiving messages, subscribers connecting and disconnecting, and um, the API loading, etc. But that is for another video. Good luck, and I hope this helped.